We'll go ahead and begin with our side TikToks. So arms to the side, go ahead and gently ease your body down. Feel that stretch through the side of your core, gently tapping the side of the ground all the way over, reach, good. Tap the side of the ground, back and forth here, nice and controlled. Easing your body, feeling those muscles work, actively reaching as far down as you can through both sides, breathing throughout the movement, nice and controlled. Go ahead and finish that repetition. And then from here, since we work the side of our core, we'll work kind of our lower back now with our diver pose. Hands in our prayer position. Take a big breath in to start. And relax. Good. Hands are going to go straight out in front now. You're going to actively reach forward as far as you can. And remember when we're doing this, think about arching that lower back a little bit so you're not only reaching forward, you're also reaching up at the same time. We're going to hold for three breaths. Keep breathing. Keep reaching. Breathe in and out. In. Out. One more time. In and out. Go ahead and now slowly pull back, grabbing those imaginary handles in front of you. Pull back as hard as you can. Feel the strength. Keep going, pull, 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 pinch those shoulder blades, breathe, be strong here. Take a big breath in and relax, 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 excellent job. Hands down in front now, opening them up as much as you can, letting those fingers spread out to the side. You can ball your fists in from that position and do a couple gentle rolls with your wrists in this position all the way around nice and controlled one more time spread those hands out open yourself up to the world open up your body take a big breath in big breath out for a few more rolls nice and slow Good. Go ahead and relax. What we're going to do next is a gentle knee exercise. This will be our leg extensions alternating, really trying to straighten and actively feel that muscle and that joint become as straight as possible when we're doing this, holding it for just a second and then slowly lowering back and forth, right? Feeling that joint move. And if there's pain in that joint, remember we're not um, getting down on ourselves. We're just giving love to our body and sending love to our joints and doing that through some movement. Back and forth here. Nice and controlled. Good. Very nice, everyone. Go ahead and rest. We'll go ahead and push ourselves back in our chair so your lower back is flush against the back of your chair. Now, from there, you can then bring your hands behind your head. We're going to do our chair lean back stretch gently, very carefully, leaning your upper back against the back of that chair, looking up towards the sky, feeling your lower back release, feeling the tension ooze from your body as you breathe in and breathe out gently come down now holding an imaginary weight in your hand letting that ball pull you deep into the ground deep into the position as low as you can go as far as you can go that ball is becoming heavier your breath is becoming deeper and you are breathing in and out slowly coming back up very slow, feeling the muscles in your spine release, feeling the tension from that back dissipate as you come back up to the front for three posture breaths, sitting in good, perfect posture, shoulders back, chest out, neck nice and long, 
taking a big breath in and out. Hold that position, breathe in and out. One more, breathing love into your body and releasing that negative energy. Hands to the side once again. We're gonna do some arm swings, so make sure you got some space to your side. From this position, gently, very slowly, slower than you think. Go up with those hands, up as high as we can. Feeling our shoulders now, elbows, hands, arms, as they move slowly up in space, feeling the different muscles work all the way to the top now, coming together, holding for three breaths in that overhead reach pose, breathing in and out, hold, breathe in, relax, feel those muscles work, breathe in, gently down now with your hands, very slowly, very subtly, down to your chest. Once you reach your chest, pause, holding that good posture position once again. Chest out, shoulders back, neck nice and long, breathing in and release. Breathe in, hold that good posture for me and out. One more, breathe in and exhale. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna move into our knee to chest hamstring stretch uh, for this next one. So this is uh, what I call a fluid movement. Um, we've done this before, but two different things. The first one's gonna be a knee to chest. We're gonna hold for a second, and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna touch our toe, okay? Three on each side. We'll start with, um, I'm gonna start with my right side. You can do either one, whatever's more comfortable for you. Go ahead, very carefully, come up. Pull that knee as high as you can. Try to get as much compression through that joint as possible. And then extend out, straightening that knee all the way down once again. Trying to actively get towards that toe if you can. Taking a big breath in, big breath out. And then coming up for a second repetition all the way. Pull nice and easily, good, nice and tight all the way out, keep that knee as straight as you can, feel that stretch in the back of your hamstring as you reach down, feeling that muscle release from your body, and then coming up for one more big pull, make sure you're breathing, and we'll add our ankle into this, feeling all the little muscles in our toes and our feet do their work as well as we come all the way around and relax, very nice. Other side, three repetitions, starting with that knee to chest to start, pulling as much tightness and compression through that knee as we comfortably can. Out now, getting that knee nice and straight, reaching down, touching your toe, taking a big breath in, big breath out, coming up now, in front grab once again, tighten yourself, pull up as high as you can, very nice. All the way down again, really focus on keeping that knee straight, actively telling your muscle to relax. You have control over your body as you breathe in and out. Coming up for one more repetition, in front of your leg. Pulling yourself up, adding in that ankle whenever you are comfortable and ready. Nice and controlled. Feeling all those little muscles in your toes and your feet work in unison as you do this movement all the way out. Once again, for one last touch. And then gently coming up taking a big collective breath together, making sure we feel good. Very nice, relax, very good. Let's do our lower back a little bit. We'll grab either side of our chair, whatever is comfortable for ourselves to start. We're gonna gently pull ourselves towards the side of that chair, thinking about looking behind that shoulder, adding in a little bit of a tilt with our neck if we're comfortable. 
and feeling our body release, feeling that neck release, that lower back release, and now your hands grabbing onto the chair as you pull yourself deep for a big breath in, big breath out, back towards the other side, gripping against that nice wooden handle, pulling yourself deep to the other side, looking over that shoulder, letting your eye gaze pull you deeper into the side as you look, letting that neck tilt just a tiny bit to get a more intense stretch. Take a big breath in, big breath out, very easily back towards the center, back towards class. Okay, um, what we're going to do next is a core strengthening exercise. Um, this one's uh, one of the brutal ones, but I, I like it. Um, you all probably don't, but uh, it's good for you, I promise. So the two things with this, you straighten your leg. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing with that straight leg, you're going to bring your leg up just a tiny bit more as much as you can. Slowly lower it. And you might feel a little bit of cramping. That's okay. Go as high as you comfortably can. Start with that straight leg. Come up a tiny bit. Slowly come down. Very nice. We'll do two more each side. Straighten. Come up. Slowly down. Good. Straighten. Come up, slowly down, good, straighten, come up, down, good. Last one, straighten, really come up, slowly come down, and relax, very nice. One more core exercise. We're going to move to the front of our chair as close as you can get towards that edge. We're going to do our reverse sit-up, so this one involves you. Um, if you want an extra challenge, you can cross your arms. Otherwise, you can kind of keep your hands down. That'll be easier. I'm going to cross my arms today. I'll just give more uh, weight towards gravity. Slowly leaning back in our chair as slow as we can, really fighting that gravity. Oh boy. Going back. Once you get back, you can use your hands to help you sit up. Or if you have enough core strength, try to sit up without it whatever position you're at. We're going to do this for the next 30 seconds. Find a slow and comfortable pace that allows you to work your muscles and breathe nice and carefully as you lean and pull. Good. Keep breathing. We're halfway home. Try to get two more slow repetitions where you build your strength. Lean back. Good. Up one more time. Lean. Up. Beautiful. Very, very nice, everyone. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do for our next pose is what I call the crescent moon. Hands are going to be to the side for this position. And we'll all reach towards this direction to start. So go ahead and take your hand up and over. We are then going to slowly lean towards that side. You can think about touching the ground if you want to, or you can think about reaching up with that top hand, reaching as far as you can for a big breath in, big breath out. Good. Other side, nice and carefully, all the way over, easing yourself for a big, deep breath in. Big, deep breath out. Very nice, very nice. Hands behind your lower back or on your butt, whatever you have uh, the best mobility for and whatever is more comfortable for you, just around that general area. And then you're going to pinch your shoulder blades back in that position. From there, you're then going to gently lift your chin up towards the sky, feeling the front of that neck stretch and release. You can lean back deeper, pushing against your back for leverage as you take a big, deep breath in and release that breath. Let those shoulders round forward. You can kind of shake them out a little bit from that position, feel the new range of motion you just established. 
And then from there, we're gonna do our pigeon pose. So two variations, crossing our leg down below if our mobility isn't quite the best today, but if you are feeling up to snuff, feel free to get that foot up to your knee. And then we're just gonna hold for about 30 seconds today. So this one's just gonna be very slow lower and we're gonna progressively breathe deeper as we progressively get lower, okay? So just start out with a nice deep breath in and out. As you exhale, start to go down as deep as you can. Take a big breath in, big breath out, slowly down. Good, big breath in, big breath out, slowly down, big breath in. Good, keep breathing here for me. Every single breath, your muscles are releasing further. Every single breath, your chest is getting closer to your leg. Every single breath, you're becoming more flexible. And with this last breath in and out, go as deep as you can into that stretch. Coming back up from that position, taking a breath as you come up to the top, and then repeating on the other leg. So of course, uh, crossing down below, that was the recommendation, or coming up on top if you're able to, placing that foot onto your knee, and we're going down once again to start. Again, it might be a little bit tougher on the side. My left side, the one I'm doing is a little bit tougher, so I can't go quite as low. You do what you can, go as deep as you can. Go ahead and breathe in and out. Good, breathe in and out deeper into that stretch. The more you breathe deep, the more you bring in relaxation. And the more you breathe deep into that muscle, the more you can tell it to release as you breathe in and out collectively. One more big exhale in. Gently let that breath go. Sitting back very carefully at the top. Breathing a few times as we get our bearings. And then from there, whenever you are comfortable and ready, you can sit back in your chair. Again, friendly reminder to keep your entire back flush against the back of the chair so your spine is erect. Sitting up straight whenever you are comfortable and ready. You can close down your eyelids, letting them be weighted and heavy. Finding a position for your hands to rest. Finding a position for your legs to connect with the floor. And finding a position to simply allow your body to breathe, your body to relax, and your mind, body, and soul to become one with itself so it can become one with others. Let's take a collective breath together, focusing on breathing through our belly and focusing our awareness at the energy at the base of our spine as we gently start to breathe in through our belly. Follow that breath up your lower back, up your upper back, up your neck, up the back of your neck, up the back of your head, all the way into the top of your head. Hold that breath into the top of your head. Focus your awareness. Keep holding, squeeze, 
and release. Feel the energy around you and feel the energy inside of you. You are energy. Every cell in your body is energy. And the more you can connect with your higher self, which is only energy, the more energy you can bring into your physical body, which is here. As we breathe, we ask our higher self, we ask the source of all, we ask for guidance, guidance on how to have peace, guidance on how to bring love and guidance on how to bring joy. We are not focusing on the things we don't want. Bad health, finances. We're not focusing on the lack of those things. We are driving our conscious attention conscious awareness to the things we do want. And by doing this, every second of every day, we begin to train our body we begin to train our mind and we become moved by the Spirit to do supernatural things, loving at superhuman levels, caring in a way that hasn't been done before. Bringing peace to the ones who need it. And giving love to the people who've never had it. Showing courage in times when others aren't. having the stamina to do the things that no one else will do. Because you know that this matters. And from this state of being, we will take a few moments in silence to feel feel what feel this because words can't describe emotion emotion is what you feel so join me and let's feel this together.
as we start to come back to my voice, we can give ourselves the reminder that this feeling of peace, love, and joy is always within you, ready to be tapped into with just a few moments of time, a few moments of conscious effort to bring you here. And let's take our final breath together, gently filling your lungs with that precious air and exhaling everything we no longer need. And as you come back, you can start to move your fingers, arms, hands, shoulders, neck, opening your eyes whenever you are comfortable and ready. There is no rush. There is no hurry. But we are all finished.